Today we're going to be looking at this absolutely massive set made from 1-1, one, one, two 2-2s, three threes, and then so on four fours, all the way until we get to 200 two hundreds, which I'm not going to be writing. And we want to know what the median of this set is. What is the value that's right in the middle of it? Now, this is really not straightforward because it's not a big set, so we have to apply some certain techniques. Now, before we go into this, I just want to give you a feel for this problem. So let's imagine we take a kind of smaller version of this set, maybe just one one and two twos. Okay, well, the median of that is pretty clear. It's in the middle. Now let's take a slightly bigger one. Let's do this one, 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 two twos, three threes, and four fours. What do we get as the median? Well, there's 10 values of that. So the median is gonna be right in the middle with five either side, and the median will be between three and three. So the median will be three for this one. Notice in both cases how the median is skewed towards the upper side in the sense that one plus two over two is 1.5 and two is bigger than that. And then if you do this, one plus four, like the most extreme values, one plus four over two equals 2.5, and three is bigger than that. So we have what we would say like a, a rightward skew to this data. So that's an important thing to recognize first. Now the very first thing before we can find the median is we need to know how many elements that are in this list. So what is the size of this list? Well, if you just ignore what their values are, basically you have one number, and then you have two twos. It doesn't matter that they're twos, but it's just two numbers, and then three numbers, and then four numbers, and then five, going all the way up to 200. So if you want to know how many elements in total, we just need to sum this. Well, this is easy. This is just the sum from one to 200 of the natural consecutive numbers. So we can use this formula, n times n plus one over two, and this will give us, uh, what is it? 100 times 201, 20,100. So there are 20,100 values. So now we know that there are 20,100 values in here in total. We need to find the middle value so to do that, you have to add one and then divide by two. What is that gonna give us? Well, okay, we're gonna have this divided by two, which is going to be 10,000, uh, 10,050.5. So we're looking for the 10,050.5 element. So now that we know that the median element, like NM, is going to be the 10,050th and a half one. We can actually put this back into the formula. Now, I really recommend that you have a think as to why this is, but we're going to have this. Um, uh, so we're going to have m times m plus one over two equals 10,050.5. We've basically got another sum that's just going to come up halfway. Now what we do, we multiply both sides by that. And what do we get? We get our original number out. I recommend that you spend a few moments here trying to solve it. Now there's a few ways you could solve this. You could solve this just by estimating, because remember M has to be a whole number, um, or you could solve using the quadratic formula. But what you'll find out is that when M, when we go to adding up M up to 141, you have 141 times 142. What is that? It's 2,000, sorry, 20,000 and 22. It's not quite enough. So if we go to the next one, 142 times 143, we're going to get something in excess of this, which means that it must be in the middle of the 142s. Sort of as it's as it's going through. So if you imagine this this list, um, it will be somewhere through the 142s. Like it's finished, it's 141, 141s, and it's now into the 142s. I would just like to point out here that there seems to be some link between the fact that the square root of two is about 1.42, and that we had 200, and this is 142. This 
is not a coincidence, I don't think. Um, and I would really recommend that you review this problem, but do it using algebra and you'll hopefully see why an approximation for the square root of two pops out so nicely there. I don't think it's a coincidence. If you want an extension challenge here, I'll set you off here. You can try to calculate the mean of this data. So what you have is you have one one plus two twos plus three threes, etc. This is really just the same as doing one plus two squared plus three squared plus four squared. So you're going to get a sum of squares and you can actually reuse something from this video about how to calculate the total number of elements. There's a really, really cool simplification in here and you can get it all down to quite a nice little polynomial that only depends on n. If you found this helpful or interesting, please hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and of course subscribe so you won't miss the next video.